Hello everyone. My name is Guang Hui Hu. I'm a PhD student in Nanjing Normal University. My topic today is the mathematical vector framework for land surface coverage calculation from triangulated irregular networks. The first part is the introduction. Land surface coverage reflects characteristics of land surface in different directions and reflects surface material transport. The general system of land surface coverage from a gravitation, gravitational perspective and divided the categories coverages into two categories. The first is the gravi gravity invariant, such as maximal, minimal, Gaussian, and mean coverages, are also called geometric coverages. The second part is the gravity specific coverage, such as the profile, tension shoe, and the plan coverage, more defined as commonly used in geoscience. The great best digital advantage models are generally the best for land surface coverage calculation. Local surface fitting methods in a 3 by 3 window are generally used to calculate its coverage. This calculation methods can provide accurate routes, however, are very sensitive to DM errors and strongly influenced by scales. The triangulated irregular network is introduced as another DM structure, mainly for two considerations. First, a grid DM can provide land surface details and limit data redundancy at the same time. Second, the level of the detail of land surface expression should match the scale of geographic objects and processes rather than the sample rules. <clears throat> The different from the grid DMs, a team is contrasted based on the topolo topological relations among vertices, edges, and triangles. Thus, the local surface fitting methods developed for the grid DMs are difficult to directly apply to teams. The slope and aspect calculations have been studied based on team vertices and triangles, but the land surface coverage calculation methods based on teams especially for the calculating gravity-specific curvatures are still insufficient. The second part is the methodology. In traditional studies, the commonly used land surface coverage were defined by inter intersected curves. Example, there are two curves particular to each other. There is the maximum, maximum coverage and the minimum coverage. Similar, the profile coverage is defined by the slope line, and the tangential coverage is defined by the, by the not, not the number canaveral line. In addition, the plan coverage, also named the uh, canaveral coverage, is defined by the canaveral line. In fact, the definition for this land, land surface coverage can be out of the accounts. Differential geometry uses the normal coverage to describe the special bending in different directions for the surface. The maximum, minimum, profile, and the tangent coverage are all the surface normal coverages and, and, and correspond to the minimum, minimum slope and the normal canaveral directions. The plan coverage is not the normal coverage, thus, it applies the terrain plan blending. Term plan bending. The normal coverage in the direction of the unit length vector t can be calculated by using the equations. The symmetric, uh, the symmetric matrix uh, is the center, second fundamental form in differential geometry of the coverage tensor. This coverage tensor is a high level of abstraction than the normal coverage. The calculation of a coverage tensor concerned with the change of normals of the team vertex. The team vertex and the triangles describe the tearing shape from a different size, and both are significant in geoscience. The, the coverage tensor can exist both on the vertex and the triangles of a team, which means that the land surface coverage can be calculated to both. After vectorizing the aspect, slope, and the normal canaveral directions, the profile, tangent shoe, and the plan coverages can be derived from the coverage tensor on the team vertex and the triangles. Uh, the table right is, uh, con contains many land surface coverages used in geoscience and it was established based on the extensive work of Minor, Evans, and Joko in 2020. 
uh, certain part is the materials and the methods. Uh, we use the first, the first area we use is a simulated surface constrained by using equation. This surface is a high order polynomial surface. We also selected three real landforms with different scales and data sources. All the data sources can be converted into things as, as at the first area. We use the NASA DM, uh, the computer method of integrated max, maximum zen tolerance and the, and the zero network was used to convert to the things. For the second area, we use the Kantaro map. It's a Kantaro map is 1.12 on 1,100 protein scales. This kind uh, of can convert into things. And, uh, the third, and the third area is uh, based on the UAV photogrammetry based point cloud data. All the cell size are from the grid DM based on the different data sources. Um, on the simulator surface, we applied the uh, two uh, experiments. First is the scale asset, scale dependence assessment. We use the uniform sampling and the random, random sampling. For the uniform, uniform sampling, we set the cell size from 2 to 20 with interval of 2. We tested the, uh, the Wimbogen method, Evans method, and the team based method. For the random sampling, we keep the same number of points as the uniform sampling. And we on the random sampling team, only the team based method can be used. Uh, another, the other experiment is the error sensitive assessment. We applied the normally distributed error to the teams and the DMs. The standard division from 0 0.05 to 1 was applied, was exalted to these DMs. The four method machine above are all used. For the real landforms, we take the two applications. First is the classification of land surface concavity and convexity. The mean coverage was used. The second application is the classification of hill sub units. We use the slope profile coverage and the tangential coverage. Uh, and the last part, uh, first for the scale dependence assessment, tables, table, uh, two tables show that the two Grid based methods provide more accurate profile and tangential coverture results than the team based method with the uniform sampling. As the cell size increased, there are orders of magnitude MA changes in the result of the grid based method and the team based method with uniform sampling. The MA change for the team based method results on the random sampling surface is stable within an order of magnitude as the density of points decrease. This observation indicates that the purpose the team-based land surface coverage calculation method is suitable for multi-scale teams. For the error, for the error sensitivity assessment, uh, as the standard deviation of normally distributed error increase, the team-based method displays the best ca capacity for error resistance on the uniform sampling teams. And the and the and the and the slightly worse on the random and on the random sampling teams. For the for the application, the first is the land surface concavity and the convexity. We simple we simply define the area with the mean coverage greater than zero as the convex unit units, and the area with the mean coverage. Uh, less than zero as the uh, concave units. The narrow band around zero, uh, that is the planar units, is not defined because its range is not is difficult to determine. It. The traditional processes are to use the maximum function to avoid the crisp values. On the NASA DM, results of the greater best method was greatly affected by the quality of the open DM. In contrast, the team based method provides a reasonable hill and a gully distribution pattern and ensures the continuity of ridges and hydrological networks. On the contour map, uh, on the, that the, the interpolation, interpol, interpolation process from team to grid DM increased the uncertainty of the DM quality, which was reflected in the fragmented 
classification results by the greater best method. The team best method avoided the interpolation process and performed analysis directly on the team. Consequently, the classification results were better than those of the greater, uh, greater best method. On the point cloud data, generally, based on the high resolution greater DM data derived from the dense point clouds, the greater best method can provide a reliable classification result. However, as mentioned in above sections, the measurement errors cannot be avoided. The classification result of the greater best are not really superior to those of the 10 best method. The second application is the classification of historical units. The principle of a classification refers to the previous work and is simplified in our study. To simplify this problem, we use the positive or negative profile and the tangential coverages to classify the whole slope shape as a north slope, negative context, head slope, and the shoulders. With the classification method, the result based on the grid DM remains fragmented as a observed for the tearing concavity convexity classification result. This result doesn't support people's basic understanding of the whole sample units. In contrast, the classification result obtained with the team based method based on the team was generally reasonable. The abaya technique has been used to segment the terror into analysis units for further precision. However, the multi resolution segmentation is usually uncontrolled and rely on the parameter adjustment. In a team, the triangles are objects. The ordinary polygons in which the sampling points are located are lots of objects. The shape, size, position of each object is controllable. The proposed team-based length of coverage calculation method can directly calculate the basic carrying habitus for the triangle and the ordinary polygon objects. This approach presents a new opportunity to for the classification of health sub units in the field. Uh, in this study, we proposed the uh, mathematical vector framework for land surface coverage based on things. We defined land surface coverage from the perspectives of the coverage tensor and the direction vector, and then provided the calculation apparatus for land surface coverage based on both thin triangles and the vertices. Next, based on the mathematical symmetrical surface. We found that team based method exhibits very low scale dependence and error sensitivity. In addition, based on different forms, landform cases with various data sources, we performed the experiments involving land surface concavity and the convexity and the whole of unit classification. The result shows that the team based method can enhance the performance of teams in classification over greater best DM method. The purpose of the mathematical vector pro program for land surface coverage calculation can improve other geoscience studies based on things. Uh, this is the, the other reference uh, cited in this presentation. Thanks.